think Raya's ever had cotton candy, so this will be her first time eating it. Why are you driving with a crutch? Um, this is my uh, clutch crutch. Your clutch crutch. <laughs> so as you might remember, Josh injured his ankle on his birthday when we went to the trampoline park. And it Lane was really, really park. bad actually. It was a really bad injury. And his ankle swelled up really big and I named I named it Mount <coughs> Anklet <laughs> because it looked like a mountain on his ankle. Uh, right there, we'll name it Mount Anklet. Well, he was at work on Friday and he fell off a ladder and he re-sprained his ankle and Mount Anklet has returned. <laughs> so if you have driven through Grants Pass in October, you have probably seen the signs for Fort Vinoy Farms, Pumpkin Patch, and Corn Maze. Well, we've seen that sign every single year since we've been here. It's our third year seeing the sign, I think, or second. Either way, we're going. This is our first time going. We're gonna get some pumpkins from the pumpkin patch. What's wrong? I won't carve a bunch of pumpkins. Josh is always wanting to carve like a ton of pumpkins every year, but I'm always just like, oh, let's just get one pumpkin each. <laughs> and we just passed a house that had like a hundred pumpkin carved pumpkins in their yard. Literally, their yard was covered in pumpkins. And Josh is upset now. We're getting one pumpkin each at the pumpkin patch today. <laughs> We are here, and so is everyone else that lives within a 50 mile radius, apparently. We came to pick pumpkins from the pumpkin patch, but we decided that we're gonna do the corn maze while we're here, so we're about to go into it. All right, here we go. Are you prepared? Oh wait, that, yeah, we've got a map. Merrick has a map. Let's see the map, Merrick. I don't know. I don't know. This is what the corn maze looks like from an aerial view, but we're not going to use the map. Okay, we're at our first turn. Which way are we going? Hey, I ate in this way. Part. I like it. Rise first corn maze. for our pumpkins and now we're getting, what are we getting? Cotton candy. Cotton candy? I don't think Raya's ever had cotton candy, so this will be her first time eating it. Yeah. Take a bite. <laughs> now let Raya take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> well, did everyone have fun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, you did? I did, yeah. Right, everyone is getting their pumpkins out because I think Josh and the boys are gonna carve pumpkins. I'm not really that into carving pumpkins, so I'm not gonna do it. Plus, I've got food to make, I've gotta start on dinner. See this mess over here? And my computer for my recipe. I'm making pumpkin pie. This is my first time making pumpkin pie since I've been vegan, and I think it's gonna be delicious. And also, I found a recipe for um, homemade coconut milk whipped cream, so. I'm gonna try to make that, and hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> the recipe said that if you put the can of coconut milk um, in the freezer, that all like the thick fattiness will rise to the top and the water will sink to the bottom. So then after you chill it, you can just like scoop the top off and then not use the watery part, and then you whip it with powdered sugar and it'll make whipped cream. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Yeah, it does look super thick. It worked, you can see the cream, and then inside the can, it's like the white watery stuff, but it's a bit frozen because it was in the freezer, but yeah, it separated. Mine is not turning into whipped cream, but look how fluffy theirs is, the picture on the recipe. Mine does not look like that. Okay, so I don't have like an electric mixer, and that could be the problem why the coconut milk wouldn't turn into whipped cream. So we're using Josh's pumpkin tool. We're gonna see if it turns into whipped cream. A mixer attached to a drill. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm scared. It's as runny as ever. I don't know what I did wrong, but 
That is definitely not whipped cream. <laughs> the boys are just gonna like draw their designs on their pumpkins and then Josh is going to carve them because he's got like the power tools. I was thinning the <gasps> walls and I, I thinned the walls. Oh no. Hello. <laughs> it broke. I got the white one because I thought a Jack Skellington pumpkin would be really cool. <laughs> You buy that and I give you a dollar. <laughs> Do I have to swallow? I guess. <laughs> I, I can't swallow. I can't. Fine, get a big mouthful. One, two, three. Oh, he bit the skin. Oh, that <laughs> he, is gross. He bit the skin <laughs> instead of biting the bottom of it. I couldn't bite the bottom. <laughs> we finished three pumpkins. Well, Josh did. <laughs> All right, Rye gets such a kick out of feeding me. Wait, I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> oh, I think that one had hair. Wait, I'm still chewing this one. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wait a minute, it's so... <laughs> the other night she was feeding me popcorn so much and she was like laughing and laughing so I kept eating it but I got so full <laughs> it's like crumbs in her hand. I got so full and I didn't want to eat anymore and she was like crying trying to force feed me it was not a pleasant experience my pumpkin pie got a little dark around the edges but I don't think it cooked too long I doubled the recipe because this was a really deep pie dish so I think the insides okay I think the outside just got a little brown it's actually really late it is like uh, past 10 o'clock at night so yeah it took us a long time to get everything done all these pumpkins and the pie has to chill overnight so we're not gonna have time to eat it tonight but we'll test it tomorrow and hopefully it's really good all the reviews say it's good so I hope, I'm hopeful, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.